I don't like being scammed. I really don't. Already off and running. I'm a little worn out today. I don't know why. Look, the sun makes me look uh, extra pale. That's my actual paleness color here. We are on our way to the storage unit. Uh, savings account, as I call it. That's what I dubbed the name of this storage unit now, my savings account. We got to go there. We got to go pick up a couple boxes of things for the auction today. We're having another auction. Then tomorrow is flea market. I mean, duh. Tomorrow is actual storage auctions for me. So we're trying to keep our uh, get our game up a little bit. So anyway, let's get this over with. Let's go to our storage. Let's go root. Let's look for some stuff. Let's get this happening. And here we are. We've made it to the savings account. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fish out some stuff for the auction. What kind of stuff we're going to sell today, I don't know. But we're just going to grab it all, get it together. First, we got some maps and a bunch of old, what is in here? Oh, yeah. All of the shooting range targets, vintage shooting targets. And then you come over here and we got cars. We're gonna do a lot of cars and train stuff. We've got old books, that's gonna be great. CDs, DVDs, VHS cassette tape. We've got a nice pile of records here. Huge box of DVDs here. This one should do pretty well, make a couple lots of those. Richard, I hope you were watching because we're gonna do a whole bunch of sewing stuff that you wanted to see. So now we got all of this done. This is all ready, we're gonna take this home, set this out. We have managed to make a little more room getting there in our savings account so we can get back to those boxes. And we are off like a prom dress, back to the house to get ready for this auction. And we gotta pack up three auctions worth of stuff, get the whole eBay center cleaned up a little bit because the next two days are auctions. We finished our auction, done for the day, but we're gonna actually have a second one tonight. We're doing a big today, we're taking a break and get everything packed up. In between my little break, before I pack, I gotta make a little pancake, some pancakes. Golden brown. What are you doing? Yes. Is it easier than the fork and knife? Yes. Okay. I have only one question. Are they delicious? Yes. Yes. Hustle, oh, so grind, rewind, nonstop forward motion. We are packing all this stuff from the last three auctions. Seen this all over the place. I've shown it in the previous video. Whatever I sold, you watched the lies, but we got stuff everywhere. That's what's going on right now. We're going to get all of the packing done, caught up, paid up, etc., etc. Then we're gonna have another auction tonight, which you already missed. But if you don't attend on my other channel, Pirate Auctions, you're missing all the live auctions. How to find these great storage auction treasures. Shout out to Shay for winning all this, Shay and Steve. So Pirates, I'm here, I'm in the office, I'm working, I'm packing, I'm setting up for the auction. By the way, there's a special guest here. <clears throat> special guest here. Ooh. We'll have a special guest. I charge a lot of money for my dinner. Charge a lot. Oh, yeah. Upon doing my job, I get this email from PayPal and they're like, we have a new case opened up. So I have to go and I have to stop everything I'm doing. I'm pulling it up right here so that I can deal with this new case. I come here and look, all this stuff's going down. This is everything that's going down. So basically he's making a claim saying that uh, he bought an item. Oh, here, actually look, that's the reason there. Unauthorized transaction. So quickly, I do all my due diligence, track down the thing. I realized that it is the first train I sold out of the $34,500 storage unit. And I remember them messaging me, it was for a birthday gift. Please leave it unlabeled. This is the message I received. This is my gift for my husband. Please not out my personal messages. He should not know about the purchase things. So just use normal, just our normal label I use and nothing else. Yes, normal label. Here we go, 314 feedback. 314 feedback to me is a seasoned veteran. You've bought a few things, so this makes no sense. So I send this to eBay, or actually it's PayPal. This is total malarkey. This is photo proof of the account holder using eBay and messaging and as a present for husband. The package has been delivered for 20. It's a very expensive mint condition sealed train. Truth X Vision is the eBay name and they have over 300 feedback. So they're very knowledgeable what they're doing. This wasn't filed in eBay. It was done through PayPal in hopes of filling some form of scam. You must have passwords to multiple accounts to complete an eBay transaction. And I sent screenshots of that with the tracking number saying it's been delivered. I don't like being scammed. I really don't like, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if this is a fluke, but it really irks me. You know, like I'm trying to run a, a I'm an honest businessman when it comes down to everything. 
That's why I like eBay because it makes handling disputes easy. It's just boom, they send a complaint, it's right there, you check it and you handle it. Very easy. When you go into PayPal, I always feel that's some form of scam because PayPal has its own set of resolutions where people do secondary attempts. They didn't even do this in eBay. And they received a mint condition train worth a little over 500. I sold it for 400, I think, plus 59 shipping. That's why it's 49.81. Some of it was shipping, some of it was the item. But it was a $400 sale. 620, I've done my chores. I cleaned the kitchen, cooked food, done everything I've had to do. What are you doing? Say hi to little pancake, everybody. Want to show me your nails? Ooh, she got her nails, did. Got everything packed up so far from the last three auctions, ready to go. Boom, pack, pack, pack. FedEx, USPS. Whoa. A bike light. We're have, I'm having another auction. I decided we're doing an auction tonight, so I got a bunch of lots already prepped. All the stuff you've been seeing coming out of the units recently. Stuff from the thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars storage unit. Stuff from the amazing silver hoard. Three times around. Oh, man, some of the stuff I've been finding. Look at all these postcards. We've just been finding nothing but those 1906. That's good money. Gonna do some records, maybe some vintage shirts. So much to be done. What a day it has been doing auctions. Did one today. I'm doing another one here in a little bit. And back by the popular demand is we gotta go through stuff from this $3,400 storage unit. We did some of these in yesterday's video. They've had some cool stuff, couple hundred dollars in panties and a couple hundred dollars in weird stuff like this right here. Look at her. Wow, who done it? We're gonna be putting all those in a lot. So we're gonna go through this real quick, make this a quick little unboxing. I'm also curious, how's everybody been enjoying the videos lately? I'm trying to get back into some of my format I used to do of vlogs. It's fun doing the unboxings, but at the same time, it's hard to just do unboxings all the time when you don't have all limited time and you're running everything you do in your family. So I've been trying to mix it up, a little bit of combination of unboxings and my family life. Plus, because a little woman's kind of let the kids be in the videos a little bit. If you guys watched the live recently last Sunday, little woman let the kids come in the live. So if you guys didn't see that, I suggest you go back and watch that because the little ones are just entertaining as heck. They stole the show. Ho oh, ho, Royal Crown. See, that's understandable. I could see that being a good 10, $15. I will probably put all these advertisings in just one lot, maybe two lots on eBay. Let's tell you what we got. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, no receipt, but we got money. Look at this. Lap it up if you want to, but look up Vintage Olga Suddenly Slims. Look up that. I bet you that's 30 to 70 bucks for that piece right there. No lie. Oh. Lingerie ads. Okay. Now we're talking. What's this all about? Let's see what they paid for this. $15 for lingerie ads, 2,600 vintage ads. Holy smoke. So we have to save that with this because this is all going on eBay. So we'll do that. I'm actually even saving these first class envelopes, believe it or not, because they're worth using on eBay at a later date in my eyes. Same with these envelopes. I'm saving all of this for my future eBay stuff because I'm a recycler. That's what I do. Wow, probably paid five bucks for that. Intriguing. Yep. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. I'm on a roll right now. I'm gonna, I'm prepping for my late other auction today. Got auctions tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing something. Got a little plan. I'm using uh, a little bit of tactics tomorrow. Okay, look at this. This one. $7.99, $7 another ad. Save the bags, save the bags. Wow, this is like not the easiest thing to cut open. Exquisite form. Oh, yes. Look at that. All right. We have 
and a piece of cardboard and a good envelope. What do we have here? Come on, be a rare autograph. Or another ad. I told you guys I'm gonna walk you through this entire unit so you guys can see what a person, a madman, not just me, a person who spends 34 grand on a storage unit, but why this person spent this much to store everything. It's almost 20 years in storage, hundreds of thousands he spent on the internet. Look at that vintage Vanity Fair pink. Another one of those. That is another 30 to $70 in an individual ad on YouTube. It's, I mean, on eBay. This is not something I'm making up. Like, I hope people understand when I say prices, I'm not one of those people that are trying to get your attention. Whoa. Um, can I just show a little bit? Because it's not quite. Um, yeah, that was a little provocative. A little fun. A little fun there. I like that one. That's my favorite photo so far. Oh, look at that. A bra. Nope, it's somebody's Victoria's Secret. Yep, okay. That can go in the trash. We can save that piece. Okay. This one here. What's this? Oh, another beautiful one. Look at that. Pants. Vintage, Vassaret. Let's see what they paid originally. Because uh, this stuff has really gone up in value in my eyes. $9.99. And it was in no address on here. Or no invoice date. Probably bought that 10, 12 years ago. Vassaret is a cheaper brand when it comes to these things. Thank you. Do not bend. I appreciate that. Another best form ad. All right, that's wonderful. Here we have, all right, this one looks intriguing. These almost look like uh, classified documents more than they look like an ad. Just be, please be secret spy documents, please, please. Come on, secret spy documents, okay. No. It is more ads, thank you. More ads, wonder bra. All right, so that tells me what I'm gonna find in these two. So we're not even gonna open those up. We're gonna call that trash. We're gonna call that trash. We are gonna go through this one now. My phone is blowing up. Somebody's texting me like crazy. This one was a $5 purchase for another ad. Wonderful. Think about the amount of money. Like I, you guys know, I have hundreds of envelopes. I have thousands, like probably 500 packages that feel like panties. We got another one of those. Thousands, at least a thousand train boxes to open. Who's excited for me to get back into that unit? Who's who's sitting there thinking, pirate? Why are you stalling us and you're not going through that? Oh, that's right, because you bought too many units and you can't stop, won't stop. What is this? Wow, it's another one. Look at this. John Stewart. Okay, makes you wonder. Somebody really liked their panties. There's no receipt in there. You know, I just can't, like I'd rather just, I don't know. I don't like looking at people in a, in a photo like that. To me, it's like teasing. It's like watching a, uh, you know, an adult movie and not being able to get the touch. Who wants that? I want the real deal holy thing. Another one? Oh, wow. My eBay is going to have a field day with all of this. Look at that. If you dare wear short shorts, you ne'er wear short shorts. Please do not bend. This, please be the holy grail of these things. Man, some people really take pride in their packing. I'm just more anal than I am. Oh my. 
and they cheated. Look at this. I, I hate eBayers who do this. If you're an eBayer and you do crap like this and you're disguising from using post office boxes, you're part of the problem. You're one of the reasons why the post office is losing money. You want to use all their stuff for free, but then you're using, they want to take the route and get cheaper shipping. I'm disgusted by that. Oh, wow. We can't show that one. That one has a little bit of nudity. Um, he said he wanted to get loud in bed, but seriously. All right. So we got a bunch of those. Bunch of those. That's a wrap. Anyway, I got to go cook dinner for the family. Do what I got to do. Storage auction pirate stuff. I want to do a little unboxing in this video. Hope y'all are liking the vlog format. There will be peer unboxing still, but we're just trying to spice up the quality of the videos. Being as I have a live auction tonight, the second one of the day, I decided that we need to get some fast food or something because I don't got time to cook. So we're going to a gourmet restaurant for takeout. Hello? I can't tell if they're ordering. Oh, uh, yeah. Real quick, little pancake before I started my auction. Want to tell me she found gold. This was in our McDonald's Happy Meal. What a treasure hunt that was.